silica gel, what it's for, how to use it, how to recharge it. That's today on Grim 3D. So this is silica gel. I got this at Sporting Goods Store. It's designed in this container to help you keep items in a safe, rust-free, and protected from moisture. But it works just as well in any kind of airtight box for us 3D printers to help protect our filament from moisture. Filament, especially PETG, likes to collect moisture and it makes it difficult or impossible for your printer to use it. You can actually recharge filament in the oven or dry it out, but it's better, I think, to prevent it from getting any moisture in it in the first place. The silica gel that comes from the sporting goods store is quite a large container. This has all been used and it's ready to be recharged. It's reusable. You just pop it in the oven and it comes back out, ready for you to use it. Put it back in with your filament to protect your filament. Now let's take a closer look at the silica gel and the recharging procedure. Let's take a look at these two samples of silica gel. You'll notice that the one on the right the little indicator beads in the silica gel are kind of a pink color. The one on the left, these silica gel beads are blue. This particular brand of silica gel uses these indicator beads to tell you when it's time to recharge. The blue beads mean that they're ready to go, they're ready to be absorbing moisture out of the atmosphere. When the blue indicator beads turn pink, it means it's time for you to recharge it. This particular silica gel is recharged in the oven at 250 degrees for two and a half hours. So let's go do that. Well, I grabbed the silica beads out of the oven. The instructions say to leave them on 250 degrees in a vented oven for two and a half hours. Uh, they're still pretty toasty, so I'm just going to leave them on this ceramic plate for a while. The instructions now say to let them cool for 15 minutes and then to put them in a plastic bag and let them cool for another hour. So that's what I'm going to do. 15 minutes open air and then another hour in a plastic bag. I'll be back. All right, 15 minutes later, still a little toasty, but instructions say to then put it in a plastic bag, which I have a <clears throat> plastic zipper bag right here. Just gonna set the whole thing in there. Now we wait 60 minutes. Well, the silica gel has now been cooling in a plastic bag for about an hour. According to the instructions, it is done recharging the entire process. So now that we got it that taken care of, uh, let's take a closer look at the silica gel and I'll put up a before and after and we should be done with this video. Notice that the beads inside the silica gel, the indicator beads have now turned a nice bright blue. According to the manufacturer, that means it's ready to go back in the safe, but we're not using it for a safe, so I'm actually going to store this in a large plastic bag until I need it for my filament.
Thanks for joining me for this recharging silica gel video. Remember, subscribe if you want to, give us a thumbs up, send me some comments, I'd love to know what you think. Keep 3D printing and I'll see you out there.